Hey gals and guys, this is War Turtle from Lexi's Help Desk, and today we're going to be talking about creating a merge. So this can be a confusing process the first time that you go through it, and uh, it can actually be time consuming unless you uh, have a process and get your rhythm down. Um, after you've installed all four parts of the mods, you get to the merge page thinking, wow, I'm almost done. Actually, you still have a little bit of work in front of you. So I'm going to show you the, the fastest, easiest way that I know of to get this part done. Um, so when you're doing this, uh, the text instructions can be found on Lexi's page, website on the merge page. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create some new profiles. So I'm going to switch over to Mod Organizer 2. And uh, your guide is going to look something like this, not a identical because I've already built a bunch of my merges. And um, the first thing that we're going to do is up here on the profile, you want to click the bar, scroll all the way to the top, and choose Manage. When you do that, uh, you're going to uh, probably just see a couple of these profiles that you've created. You've created the Lexi LOTD one, you've created a Vanilla Skyrim one, and there's the initial default. You're not going to have all of these merge profiles that because um, you haven't created them yet. You will have them, like I do. Um, and you may not have some of the other profiles that I have here. But what you are going to do is uh, build these. We're going to work through the animals merged profile uh, together. So what you want to do is highlight your Lexi LOTD profile and click copy. What you're going to name this is blank profile for merges or something. It doesn't really matter. You click OK and close this. Once you do, click the profile bar again, scroll down to where you see blank profile for merges, and choose it. Once you do, in the left pane, right click, go to all mods, and choose disable all visible. This will make it really easy for us to build our merges uh, quickly. Now we're going to build our first merge. Click the profile bar again, scroll up, up to manage, and we're going to create our first merge. Now, this blank profile is the one that we're going to, it's like a template that we're, we are going to create the merges from. So make sure that's highlighted and choose copy. At this point, I'm going to switch over to my web page, and I, I'm just pulling them up side by side so that you can see everything. It, it's actually a nice way to work through this, so, so I recommend that you do it anyway. Um, but when you, when you choose Manage, we're going to copy the blank profile. And when it asks you to enter a name, you can see the name for the animals merged, merge, is here on the left in the first box. Merge, animals merged. I'm going to highlight that and choose to copy it with control C and then paste it into this box. Now, the actual name is somewhat irrelevant. The, this merge at the beginning is just for organizational purposes. There, there's no function uh, of this other than being able to find it easily. I still recommend that you copy it straight from the page. Choose OK and then choose Close. At this point, we're going to switch to that profile. You'll see it here, Merge, Animals Merged. When you click it, we can now begin to build our merge. And you can see in this table all of the plugins that we need. You can also see which mods they come from. This should make it pretty easy to find them quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, the filter here in the left pane. You can see that for my organization, I've also added these separators that uh, each section of Lexi's uh, guide uh, has just for my own organization. Using the filters here on the left, I'm going to hide them. Okay, hide separators. Okay, now what I'm going to do is type in the first mod here realistic horse breeds. 
realistic horse breeds. Here it is. When I click it, you'll see that the Critic Kitty Horses for SSE plugin appears on the right. Good. I'm now going to work my way down and do that for every mod. Here's Bruma and other patches for convenient horses. Next, and this is the plugin that we want. It's convenient horses, GFC, foul, we're dot ESP. Okay. Next one is convenient horses patch hub. Here it is. The Apocalypse, CACO, SIC, and Summer Mist patch. Next is Sky Test. Okay, we have a bunch, so let's make sure that we get the right ones. Sky Test Integration Project, Sky Test Immersive Creatures. That's this one. The next is Vanilla and DLC Creature Extension. This one. The next is Critters Ain't Snitches. Actually, that's different. Critters Ain't Snitches. After that, it's the Sky Test patch. Here it is, right here. Lastly, we go back to Sky Test for the Less Fear patch. And then we need, what else? We need the True Hunter patch here, and the Omega Lexi LOTD Animals Merged Consistency Patch. OK. So at this point, you're thinking to yourself, why am I watching a video? This is easy. Like, I mean, yeah, it is. But this is the part where pe it, people tend to get tripped up. Um, you can see here that we have a whole bunch of warnings. And in order for Z merge to build the merge, we need to get rid of any warning here. OK? And these are all missing master warnings. And so we need to find the masters for all of these. OK? This is how you do it. Clear your filter on the left, hover over the first one, and it will tell you what the missing masters are. Convenient horses, false scar, gray fox cowl, worm tooth. So we need to go and activate all of those on the left. So quickly, convenient horses, false scar, worm's tooth, What was the last one? Grayfoxcal.esm. Now, you may wonder, where does that come from? I'm not sure. Well, what you can do is switch back to your main Lexi profile. And here in the right pane, in this filter, type it. Gray with an A, fox cow. Here it is. When you hover over it, it says, oh, it comes from the gray cowl of nocturnal. Switch back to your animals merged. Clear your filter. And look for the gray cowl of nocturnal. Now, the more you do this, the more you'll learn where these mods are from. That's a good thing, um, because it'll help you understand what you're actually putting into your build. Um, but so we, you can see that the missing master warning for this went away. That's what we want. We now need to go to the next one. Okay. Missing Masters, Apocalypse, Caco, Skyrim Immersive Creatures, Summer Mist. So you, you can see how this starts to get um, a little tedious. Um, complete Alchemy and Cooking Overhaul, right? Um, and, and why it takes time. But uh, you, you got to do it, otherwise it won't work. Um, Apocalypse. What's the last one here? Skyrim Immersive Creatures. But you can see when you click that, nothing shows up. And this is one place that people get tricked, uh, kind of messed up. Um, so if we switch back to the web page here, you can see that there's this big note right here uh, that says that the master is in 
the no extra spawns mod. So we're going to find that. SIC no extra spawns here. Okay, and that got rid of some of our uh, things. What else do we need? Skyrim, Immersive Creatures, Special Edition. Okay, that, and that's this note here that's located in the official patch and patch central. So let's see what shows up. Okay, this one, this SSE patch. And so when, when we do that, a lot of our missing master warnings go away. Uh, what else is left? Only three more to figure out. The unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. There we go. This one requires SRCEO, uh, the complete enemy overhaul right here. And lastly, uh, this is the CACO Secor patch. Well, we don't actually need this. That wasn't one of the things listed. So this is an example of where when you activate one mod, so CACO, the Complete Alchemy and Cooking Overhaul, when you activate that, it has multiple plugins in there. And this is one. I, I Honestly, I probably merged it when I shouldn't. It probably should be separate. It doesn't matter. But I don't need, the, I don't need that active, so I'm going to deactivate that. And now, all of the missing master warnings have gone away. This is where we can now work from. So what you do is you look again at the list of plugins that you want to merge, and you need to make sure that these plugins are in this order and that they're all at the bottom of your list. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start at the, at the top and start highlighting them. Critic Yeti, CHGFC, FALWIR, .esp, good. Uh, Apocalypse, CACO6, Summer Mist, here, good. What's next? Sky Test, Immersive Creatures, this one. S creature Extension, this one. Critters Ain't Snitches, this one. Sky Test, RANP Patch, this one. Less Fear, this. True Hunter. Omega, Lexi, LOTD, Merge. Okay, so these are all in the correct order, and that's what I want. So now I'm just going to right-click and say, Send to Bottom, and we're done. That's it. All of the masters for these files are at the top, and these ones are all at the bottom. That's what we want. So with the hard work done, we're now going to click on it. Our, we're going to first maximize this. We're going to click on the executable bar, Scroll down to Z Edit. Choose Run. Mod Organizer 2 is now going to load up Z Edit. On this part of the bar, you're going to click and choose Z Merge and go down to Start Session. Once it loads, you'll see a list of all the merges that you've built before. For you, this screen's going to be blank, but as you build more merges, it's going to fill up. What you're going to do is click the green button, Create Merge. It's going to ask you for the name of the merge. You can get that right here. This is the merge name. Copy that, paste it here. Now, this is another place that people get tripped up. Here's the file name. It doesn't have the merge in front. This is really important. You copy this and put it in the file name animalsmerged.esp. You have to make sure that this line is exactly as listed on the website or it won't work. You need to choose the merge method. We always use clobber, not clean because it is, has, it's a, there are idiosyncrasies to clean that may or may not uh, impact what we do. So we always choose clobber. Next thing you do is you choose plugins. On this, you only click the plugins that are listed on the website here. You do not choose the masters. So the first one is Criticity, and I'm 
just going to go through and click all the ones that are listed. Since I've sent them to the bottom, they're all going to be listed at the bottom. On the load order tab, you need to click this box that says use game load order. The data tab, you don't need to worry about. There's nothing here that you should be altering. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to click OK. And at the very bottom, it should have created this new merge. And as a good double check, make sure that the data folder path is correct for where your mods actually are. If this is wrong, you may have not set up your integration settings correctly on the initial install of Zedit. And then you click Build. Once you do that, this screen will pop up uh, as it creates the merge. Uh, it'll show you a progress bar. Once it turns green, you're done. You choose X, and then you close out. Now, once you've built this merge profile, do not delete it. Okay, you're going to need it there for one of the later steps, particularly when we relink scripts. Okay, and that's why you can see for me, I have a whole bunch of different profiles that are all here. Um, so don't delete it. Okay, now you can close out of here. When you go back to Mod Organizer 2, I'm going to clear the filter here. If you switch back to your main profile, the Lexi LOTD profile, and scroll all the way to the bottom, you should see your new plugin, Merge Animals Merged. I'm going to click it. It should now be active over here on the right. The last and final step is that you want to hide all the plugins associated uh, with this merge, because we've now merged them. We don't need those plugins to be visible anymore. You click Tools, Merge Plugins Hide, and then you manually have to run Merge Plugins Hide. It's not automatic. To do that, you left click on to highlight the merge in question. You right click and choose Disable Plugins. When you do that, all of the plugins that are incorporated into this merge will be removed from the right pane of Mod Organizer 2. And that's it. You can now go on to make your next one by copying the blank profile and just repeating the same process over and over again. If you make a separate profile for each merge, when it comes time to update uh, your guide, uh, this process goes way, way faster. Okay, so don't be discouraged that it takes so long the first time that you're doing it. Um, the reason we do it this way is to make uh, things go quickly later on. That's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, come on over to the help desk on the Discord. Uh, folks there are always happy to help.